as the curtain falls on this 46 ISO Cup Congress, I am optimistic and encouraged that the open and candid sharing of information, cross-pollination of ideas, knowledge transfer, and adaptation witnessed during this meeting will help to transform our cities and our regions. Best practice urban planning and management concepts and experiences from China, from Ethiopia, and Kenya, among others, that were discussed will no doubt be critical in building the capacity of spatial planners to effectively discharge their professional responsibilities, considering that most of us in the global south face challenges relating to lack of technical capacity, insufficient managerial skills, inadequate legislative frameworks, and weak financial resource base. And this, of course, also coming at a time when the world is overcoming the effects of the global financial crisis. I trust that your ingenuity will lead to innovative ways of overcoming these and any other challenges that impede urban planning reform. Let us therefore resolve to apply the knowledge and experiences we have gained during this week-long conference to our different situations back home. For I believe that in the global village environment we live in today, the destinies of all nations, wherever they may be located, are intertwined and symbiotic. I know that when disaster happened in Haiti, for instance, and I had mentioned being made by Mr. Mwenga of, uh, of, of the state of preparedness to be able to deal with the disaster situations. Perhaps in Kenya we may have felt far removed from what happened in Haiti. But I think at the end of the day, we now appreciate that Haiti can be anywhere. And I think we need to be able to take cognizance of that fact. I believe that in um, uh, wherever we are, uh, we are truly in the same boat. This Congress has therefore rekindled my hope in the possibility of a new dawn right across the globe. I urge you to specifically train your eyes on the less fortunate in our midst for poverty as a tendency of undermining good intent and initiatives. You have the ability to evolve uh, matrices that correct the existing imbalances between regional growth and development at the regional and international levels. Within individual countries, special planning should take the lead in helping development part, uh, planners to come up with initiatives that would ensure no part of a given territory is dispossessed or disempowered. The imbalance I intimate here, owing to the absence of an effective spatial, spatial planning framework in many countries, has led to skewed distribution of capital investments in both social and fiscal infrastructural development over the years, leading to unmitigated urban sprawl, uh, land use conflicts, environmental degradation, among other social ills. Ladies and gentlemen, as I conclude, let me remind you that as planners, you have a noble duty to create cities and regions that guarantee utmost dignity, social and economic equity, environmental sustainability, and indeed social fulfillment. I encourage you to take this responsibility with commensurate intellectual rigor, passion, patriotism, yes, indeed professionalism, and self-assuredness when you return to your respective cities and your regions. It is now my pleasure to declare the 46th ISO Cup Congress officially closed. I thank you, and may God bless you. Thank you.